let us consider compton effect what this compton effect suggests when an x ray is incident x rays are incident on light metals let us take carbon so on the carbon target imagine x rays are incident when this x ray spectrum is observed it contains two types of x rays one x ray with wavelength equal to the incident let us say lambda lambda is the energy wavelength of the incident ray another one with lambda wave dash wavelength this lambda dash is found to be greater than lambda so x ray spectrum contains two types of wavelengths one the incident wavelength x ray and the other one scattered in wavelength which is higher wavelength than the incident so why this takes place imagine a free an x ray is moving along this direction and a free electron is present this is a free electron inside the target now elastic collision takes place between these two because of this elastic collision let this wavelength is lambda di lambda because of the elastic collision now this electron moves along this side this is a scattered electron this is a free electron this is a scattered electron now this wavelength this is scattered x ray so all the x rays may not interact like this some of the x rays may undergo scattering elastic scattering from the electron during this process definitely it loses energy so if i say e is the incident energy e dash is the final energy then e dash will be less than e because some of the energy from the x ray is transferred to the electron because of this energy it moves along particular di one direction now x ray is moving along another direction say this angle is alpha phi for convenience so the energy of the scattered x ray is less than that of the incident x ray we know that energy is inversely proportional to wavelength so i can say lambda dash will be greater than lambda so scattered wave scattered x ray with higher wavelength can be observed this phenomena is called compton effect so compton effect is because of the scattering of photon or x ray from the free electron present inside the target atom due to this the x ray spectrum contains two x rays one the scattered one suppose if a graph is plotted between intensity versus lambda so this is a normal x ray but another scattered x ray is also present so this is our lambda dash and this is our lambda so this is the original x ray photon this is an scattered x ray photon a lambda dash is always greater than lambda and energy is less the difference in these two wavelengths lambda dash minus lambda this is called compton shift compton shift is nothing but the difference in wavelengths of the scattered and incident x rays this delta lambda is given by h by m not c into 1 minus cos phi so it depends on the direct direction of observation also this is a phi at what angle you are making the observation whether you are keeping the spectrometer here or here or here it depends on the orientation if you keep here that is at alpha angle phi angle if you keep here you will get a different scattered x ray so in all directions it is possible to have scattered x rays so when i say scattered angle is fixed around this direction this lamb delta lambda compton shift is this one and this h by m not c is what we call compton wavelength
so delta lambda is compton shift and h by m not c is compton wavelength the value of h by m not c because a fixed value h is the planck's constant m not is the rest mass of electron and c is the velocity of light so this value is 0.024 into 10 to the power of minus 10 meters or 0.024 angstrom the compton shift is given by 0.024 angstrom that means if i put phi is equal to 90 degree then what is the equation for a delta lambda h by m naught c times 1 minus cos 90 cos 90 is 0 which is equal to h by m naught c this is our Compton wavelength, pi naught to four angstrom. So Compton effect suggests when an X-ray interacts or undergoes elastic collision with free electron present inside the atom target, electron is scattered in one direction and X-ray moves in another direction. Since X-ray is losing energy, the scattered X-ray with less energy moves at some angle. So energy is less means its wavelength is more. So the X-ray spectrum contains one X-ray, this is the original X-ray, the other one scattered X-ray. This is a scattered X-ray with higher wavelength. So here lambda dash minus lambda, the difference in wavelengths is called Compton shift given by H by M naught C into 1 minus cos phi.